Hey, what's up guys, and I just want to thank you so much for tuning in to another cool video. So today I'm going to be doing my Q&A answering video. So this video might be a little bit of a longer one, but um, go ahead and tune in. I'm go going to be going over all my comments. Uh, so I don't have very, I don't have too many. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. So our first comment is, do you have a group pick of all your customs? Um, I do not have a group pick. I have my top 10s, which is my old top 10s. I have made a bunch of new ones since then. But um, this is my top 10s I uploaded onto Flickr. It was a challenge going around where, um, like say someone tagged you, you would have to uh, post your top 10 favorite customs. And these at the time were the, my top 10. I hadn't even made my LR1 figure yet or you know pretty much any other figure you see in front of the camera right now so um that was my top 10 at the time so that's our first one uh let's see our second one um have you ever thought slash attempt to make a mission slash military base hat um I have not, I actually haven't tried that, so that's something I should uh, definitely try out. But um, yeah, that's that one. Our second one is, um, where do I get all my fa my Mitch and Fast helmets? Um, I get most of my stuff off Minifig Cat, um, which are just your standard uh, ones without that much detail. But if you want like the super detailed ones, um, I get those off Flickr. I paid like I think five bucks for, um, I think it's like four helmets uh, from, what's his name? Uh, let me uh, get it. There we go, I got it, G Bricks. I'll have, I'll put it across the screen. You just Google that or search it on um, either, yeah, like I said, Google or Flickr and he'll come up. He actually just released this super cool, um, uh, the diversion uh, figure, like you know, the one from the uh, video game. So he just released that one. That was really cool. Um, so yeah, but our next one is let's see, uh, what paints to use? Uh, I have updated my paints. I need to actually update my Q and A in the description. If I do really have a Q and A in my description, it tells you my basic stuff I use. But um, I will go ahead and jump into it. Like I said, um, I've been using Citadel as pretty much my original paint. I pretty much moved to I don't really use like acrylic, apple barrel, or Americana paint anymore. Um, I use um, Citadel, and I've also been getting into, um, what is this one? Um, Model Master. But one thing I highly dislike about Model Master is they have a metal cap um, which if like you get paint on the rim it'll get stuck and uh, my paint actually has dried out with that metal cap which I don't really like so um, I wish they came in like a plastic container like the Citadel does so our next one is what made you make military uh, minifigs uh, like I said, my last one, I've always been into the military um, supporter, and um, I just thought this would be a lot different than doing your standard um, Star Wars and, you know, figures like that, because uh, it's been done, like, a lot, so I, and plus I really like this um, military scheme st style stuff, so I was like, you know, why don't I uh, do that with Lego, so, um, that's pretty much how that happened. So my next one is also where do I, um, or what do you use for your net helmet? Which is basically the netting I had on my last video or my newest one. Um, so you could pretty much get that um, net at any of your hobby shops. You could get it um, in the material or the fabric aisle. You could get it in like huge massive bulk of it. So that's pretty much where you could get that. So, um, yeah. And then my next one is, will I uh, add a tutorial on how to make my clay pouches? I've only made like one or two clay pouches, but I would love to, but most of uh, some of my clay pouches or some of the clay pouches you see on my figures 
are from my friend John. I will have a, also a link to his um, page in the description. Um, and then the, my next one, which is a really good one, is how long have I been doing customs? Um, I've been doing it for like a really long time, since I was like six. Uh, I actually showed you guys my first custom, which I could go ahead and show you guys again. So I think I have it right here, actually. So this was my very first custom. I showed in my last one too, but this is for the new viewers. That is pretty much my my very first figure. Yeah, I don't know what it was. I, I guess it was supposed to be eyes at the time, but um, I was really young when I did that, so uh, that's pretty much uh, that. But I'm really, like I said, I really like it. Um, I actually might frame it and just put it with these other figures I have uh, made. So that is that. Let's go ahead and jump into it. What's my favorite, like, um, music uh any metal so um i have i've been getting into some really weird music lately i don't even know the correct like way to say it but um i've been getting into a flume if you guys have heard of them i really like their music a lot so um you go you guys go check it out and then our next one uh what happened to making world war ii slash uh heart um, historical figs. Um, I made like one figure, but um, every time I go to start working on it, I just can't get into it for some reason. Um, but that will bring, I'll talk more about that in a little bit. And then uh, let's see if you, this is like a really good question. I recommend this for anyone that wants to start the hobby. This one is. Um, if you want to get into the hobby, what should your budget be? Um, pretty much use whatever you have. Um, I recommend a budget. Um, yeah, like I said, use whatever you have, and then whatever, whenever you have the money, you go ahead and just uh, start buying stuff slowly until you um, have all the stuff. That's pretty much what I did. Um, like I said, I've been doing it since I was six, so I've been buying. Um, parts slowly and uh, I didn't get into it like hardcore till around 2006 I would say and that's when I started uh, getting all my stuff um, to start working on the figures to start doing all that stuff and then uh, I recommend starting off with brick arms then moving on to minifig cat and then once you start getting really good at it you can do uh, tiny tactical or if you uh, have the money just go ahead and start doing tiny tactical with minifig cat and you will start off really good and people will really like your customs but um yeah that's pretty much that i think that was going that's actually my very last question uh, i want to thank you guys so much for um all the questions there was some really good ones i will put them all on the screen uh for you guys but that's pretty much that and i just wanted to get into something that i've been wanting to get off my um chest or for quite some time actually um let me see how i'm gonna put this um so i guess this is pretty much what's been um kind of why i haven't made as much customs lately is just i've um been very 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 i mean very um like i've had lack of motivation just because um no one ever really makes customs anymore on Flickr and that's where I would get like all my feel to like oh this person made a really cool custom let me uh, make my own custom like that because I really enjoyed them um, their figures and no one really makes them anymore um, there is still people like the newer generation but uh, like the, some of my favorites were some of the older ones that don't really um, make them anymore. and also have you guys ever just worked super extremely hard on something that you've put so much time into building this um, style of thing for you guys where um, you just work you just try your extremely best but um, so basically where you work so hard where I guess you're not seeing what you expected and that's kind of what um, has been also unmotivating me is um, 
I'm going on to like I think 3,000 subscribers now, and I've I've only been seeing like maybe 30 people at the most, which is uh, really gets me uh, really sad actually, just because um, I put so much work into uh, what I do, and I really enjoy doing it. But hopefully this will be some type of wake up call um, for some of my subscribers. I hope. Um, I will start getting the views and stuff that uh, I think I deserve. But uh, that's pretty much what's going to wrap up this video. I just want to thank you guys so much for uh, all the support. And I will see you guys in my next video. I will have probably some pretty cool videos coming out soon. Uh, I definitely want to do some tutorials. So uh, stay tuned for that. Thank you once again for everything. And I'll see you next time. See ya.